My name is Dave Seminara. I'm the author of a new book called Mad Travelers, A Tale of Wanderlust, Greed, and the Quest to Reach the Ends of the Earth. And uh, this is the first book that's been published in English about wanderlust and travel addiction. Something that I'm something of an, I, I'm not something of an expert on. I am an expert on this topic. And um, I wanted to make a little video here. I'm out in my garden. It's a beautiful morning and I wanted to sort of give you guys sort of the inside story or inside scoop of what this book is actually about and how it came to be. So as I said, um, I am a mad traveler. Sometimes I call myself a pathological traveler um, or a compulsive traveler. And uh, I've moved around the world. Uh, I've lived in about five different countries. I joined the Foreign Service after college because I thought that would be a decent career for someone who is addicted to travel. And I found out that I liked living in other countries, but being an expat and being a traveler are sort of two different things. And I was in the Foreign Service for about six years and then um, I got into writing, which I've been doing for about 12 years. This is my fourth book, by the way. Along the way, I mean, really, my life has been guided by wanderlust, guided by curiosity and my wanderlust. I've lived in, I think it's nine different U.S. states, and my family gets a little tired of my wanderlust, moving around from here to there, always wanting to travel. Um, other people I know, including my wife and my friends, most of them like to travel. They're sort of, I guess I would call them travel aficionados, but they're not travel addicts as I am. Um, when I don't have travel, when I don't have a trip coming up or a trip planned, I start to feel bad. You sort of are almost like an addict going through withdrawal. If you don't have that trip to look forward to, a trip on the horizon, something planned, sometimes you don't have hope. And that's why for a lot of us, the pandemic was pretty tough. But stretching back, let us I'm going to take you back to about seven years because getting this book published has been really sort of a seven year process of researching and, and writing the book is um, I had a number of different things that sparked my curiosity. But one of them was there was a cover story in National Geographic magazine back in 2013. And it was about um, the so-called wanderlust gene, DRD47R. And when I read about this, people who have this gene are supposed to be more prone to um, exploratory behavior, novelty seeking, and things of that nature. And I thought, well, I must have that gene, but I really wanted to get tested for it and, and didn't know how. I wanted to know if I had the wanderlust gene, and I really started thinking about wanderlust and travel addiction, whether it's genetic or whether it's something that we pick up on. And, you know, is travel addiction just sort of a joke or is it something that's real? So all those sort of questions were percolating around in my mind. And then in 2014, I started this series for BBC Travel called Travel Pioneers. And that gave me a great pretext to meet some of the world's most traveled people. I mean, people who have not just been to every country in the world, but who have also been to, who are seeking to, or have been to every major province of every country. Like, for example, all 50 U.S. states, all 83 Russian oblasts, and so on and so forth. So, in getting to meet these extreme travelers, these people who are even bigger travel addicts, more compulsive travelers than me, um, it really had me thinking more about writing a book about wanderlust and trying to sort of make sense of it and what makes some of us need to travel while other people are content to just essentially stay home. So that's sort of when the idea was born and I started meeting all these people and really getting to know them very well, these super travelers. And as this was going on, um, I was also trying to start a television series about essentially the t world's top travelers and their quest to reach the ends of the earth. And uh, I sold this idea to a production company. I think this was 2014 or early 2015. And um, I introduced many of these top travelers to the production company. They tried pitching it to the networks and all the television networks said that the demographics were wrong. The travelers were too old and too white and so on and so forth. What they wanted were especially younger travelers. Um, and so I doubled back to these guys and they would mentioned a guy named William Bakelin to me. And I thought, William Bakelin, the name sounds really familiar because they had actually, some of these guys had been telling me when I'd asked them, well, how do you get to these remote islands? How do you get to these crazy places at the ends of the earth um, that you can't get to with Expedia or Travelocity or TripAdvisor? And a lot of them had said, William Bakelin. Bakelin is the guy. He's sort of this travel fixer. He's this incredible young man. He's a geography wizard. He's a genius. Uh, and he's a billionaire, too. That was the other interesting thing about, about young William is that he had inherited billions from Leo Bakeland, his grandfather, who was the father of the modern plastics industry. He invented Bakelite. And so this guy, was he was well on his way, supposedly, to becoming the world's most traveled person, and he was getting them to the ends of the earth. So I thought, well, Bakelin, I got to get this guy in my TV series, right? He, I thought he was going to salvage my TV project. Long story short, he did not salvage that project because he, he started communicating with me, and it seemed like he was going to participate, but then every time we were supposed to have an interview with him, he just wouldn't show up. 
So I sort of gave up on Mr. Bakeland, but I continued, you know, really getting to know these deep, these extreme country collectors, these big travelers for over a period of years. And then about three years ago, um, William Bakeland's story came on, unraveled, unglued, and everyone found out that basically he was not the person that anyone thought that he was. His name was different. He was not a billionaire. <laughs> And he owed these big travelers a tremendous amount of money. We're talking about almost a million dollars, allegedly, though he denies much of this. And so I thought during this time period, I had been working on batting around this idea of writing a book about wanderlust and doing a lot of research about wanderlust, about uh, the genetics of it, different questions surrounding it, researching all these top travelers. And I thought, this is what I want to write the book about because this story of William trying to get these extreme travelers to the ends of the earth, for me, it illustrated wanderlust sort of better than any, any story, any fiction, anything that I could cook up in my head. And so that's really what this book is about. It's not just the story of William Bakelin and these top travelers getting to the ends of the earth, but it's, it's really about travel. And it's about why we travel. Why do we want to travel? Why are some of us obsessed with travel? Well, the other people can just Google things to satisfy their curiosity, or another person might be able to just read a book to satisfy their curiosity, but not truly compulsive travelers like us, not mad travelers, not pathological travelers. And um, the story is, it's pretty unbelievable. It's all true, <laughs> but it is all true. I swear I didn't make anything up in this book. And um, it's a really fun read. Uh, the early feedback I've gotten on the book, it's just come out, has been fantastic. We've gotten some great quotes and blurbs um, from some great travel writers and such. And um, I'm super excited about this book. I wanna get the word out about it. So I would love for you to, um, to check this book out. I would love for you to purchase it. If you wanna just read the first chapter, uh, you can also do so on Literary Hub. Uh, if you just Google Literary Hub, Mad Travelers, Dave Seminar, you'll be able to read the first uh, chapter of this book for free. And I know you're going to love it. You're going to read the first chapter and want to buy this book because it's a, it's, a, it's a truly interesting story. And if you've ever wondered about um, why you are a compulsive traveler or a mad traveler or a travel addict and uh, wanted to know a little bit more about that, and um, this is the story for you. So check it out, Mad Travelers, A Tale of Wanderlust, Greed, and the Quest to Reach the Ends of the Earth. Thanks, guys.